Okay, I wanted to dedicate this video to... My hair looks terrible. Looks like I'm going bald. Anyways, I want to dedicate this video to new ideas and what problems should we try to solve next. Um, in my recent trip with June, we um, sort of discussed some of the social problems that the world is facing. And one of the things that struck really hard to us was um, how sad people looked at Starbucks. So there was this uh, Starbucks location at, uh, I think, uh, Pier 28, that area. And people inside were, uh, they looked pretty miserable. I mean, I didn't notice this stuff at first until um, June mentioned it. So, you know, after putting on that filter, um, I got curious and asked the bartender, the barista, um, if he was, if he really liked his job at Starbucks. And he said it's a job. So, um, telling me that he doesn't like his job, but pays. So, yeah. And that's sort of the feeling I'm getting is that, uh, you know, people go to jobs so that they can get paid. Once they're paid, they didn't do the things they like to do, um, which more often than not, sometimes are not the things that they like to do. Um, and June's speculation is that this has a lot to do with architecture, because architecture affects how we, um, how we, uh, communicate with each other so if you have desks um, and chairs that are very very square and do not have the proper distance then it's going to affect how uh, people are going to use these appliances or not use them which negatively in turn affects um, how people will behave the perspective that I'm coming from is um, the Western world isn't very particularly good at um, recognizing how symptoms relate to each other. Um, so they just um, tackle one symptom at a time um, without seeing the big picture. Um, so, you know, a good example would be, you know, hair loss. Um, so if, you're, if uh, your hair is losing, Maybe like mine. I don't know if my hair is losing. I might be. Anyways, so if your hair is losing, then they directly identify the hormone that's causing your hair to lose, and they directly reduce that hormone, um, which in turn has negative consequences because it affects your testosterone level. Um, so it's just you know it's this kind of behavior um, without looking at the cause. So what I'm saying is I think people have a lot of uh, mental problem in the Western society. Um, people are less happy here than they are at uh, poorer countries because um, they have less faith and there are less directions in life um, and a lot of the desires are superficial. <laughs> And that we truly lack the human connection, especially if you live in a large city. Um, so I'm not sure how exactly this problem can be tackled by software. Um, I have recently used an app called Mend. Um, it helps you with breakup, relationship breakups. And um, so it sort of has this dialogue chatting interface where they ask you and grab, get, um, get some information about the situation um, where you're at and then they give you the, uh, the correct advice um, um, based on a mapping between your response to one of the, their suggested videos and then the business model is trying to make seven dollars a month from this app it's interesting but the questions they ask are not detailed enough 
so it doesn't really provide a good enough um, experience to um, it's it's not as in depth as if as if you were to talk to a real person because you can provide more context um, about what you're going through and then they can give you more specific devices um, so and the other thing is like you got to realize that you have a problem before using these apps um, a lot of times we are not aware of the chemistries that's in our brain <laughs> so what I'm thinking is um, to solve this problem we should tackle it through the angle of entertainment <laughs> because entertainment is a good way um, for you to uh, be exposed to the unknowns um, it's a good way for you to be exposed to new ideas um, things that you need but might not be aware of um, I'm thinking animations would be one way to do it um, if we're thinking about not making um, content in the traditional way where um, an artist needs to have a big enough budget um, and to hire actors and to actually um, create this sequence for people to understand. So I'm thinking animations would be one way to do it. Uh, I'm not exactly sure because I have never done animations before. So that's that. Um, so what's next? So there are a couple implementation details. The first one is content validation. Um, we should be able to generate interesting enough content that addresses a particular need for people um, that might not be aware of the problems that they are facing. Um, if we can make these content, then we should try to um, see how people respond by posting by opening this content, um, maybe on YouTube, um, and see if we can build an audience base that appreciates um, and help us validate this idea. The second technical, uh, the second challenge is technical. Um, I'm, I'm thinking this would be a video network, so um, video is going to be hard. Um, yeah, so I. We have never um, implemented a video platform before, um, so that's going to be challenging. But I think I think that's going to be where the future is going because pictures and text, you know, we've already done that. So that's that. Um, so implementation probably would happen later um, after we have um, have a big enough audience base that would be able to validate these um, um, our ideas uh, which is some of the videos that we should be creating not exactly sure how what's the best way um, what's the most cost-effective way to do this so yeah so these are my ideas for today and we'll see how it goes <laughs>